Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these really cool person split in half or person split in two. You can see there's me and I look like I've been torn in two different pieces. Okay, to do this it's really straightforward and um, I'll talk you through it step by step. You can see we've got several layers here and a gradient background so it's quite simple. It's not a massively complicated edit. So the first thing we need to do is have a picture of a person. The second thing we need to do is make sure it's unlocked. Then get the lasso tool. And we are going to draw a zigzaggedy line down the middle of the person to create the split in two effect. So we're going to go like this, all the way down the middle, like so. And then we're going to draw around the edges so that we make a complete box, like so. And we are going to copy and paste it. So we're going to go to edit, copy, edit, paste. And you can see we now have half a person. While we're on this screen, we're going to use the magic wand tool. Click in the blank area of our image here. We're going to hide this layer. Go back to the original layer. Click on it so that it is selected. And then copy and paste that half of the image. So we're going to go copy edit paste and you can now see we've got the two halves of the person cut in two and you can see the little zigzaggy line very straightforward now we're going to do, use the move tool and we're going to pull the two pieces apart and to do this we'll start moving it and you can see that the center is in the middle here we're going to go to the little box here and tick the corner box and now it's centered here so when we twist it it curves along that axis and we're going to pull it apart a little bit there okay then we're going to do the same thing to the other layer so we're going to click on the move tool start to move it slightly click on the other corner so this corner down here and then rotate this one out like so and you can see we've got that split in two effect that we wanted i might just move it slightly up and over so it lines up nicely there Maybe move it a fraction more. Go back to the other layer and have a look at where that one is. And just move that a little bit more so that we've got it where we want it. Okay. Now, that's the easy bit of the edit done. The next easiest bit is to add the gradient background in the background. And to do this, we're going to use the eyedropper tool. We're going to select the color of the sky at the top here. I'm going to select the color of the sky at the bottom there. Or we can do one first. We're going to select the sky color at the top. We're going to switch it around and we're going to select the eye color at the bottom. And then you can see we've got the two colors here. We're going to move to the gradient tool and we're going to draw a gradient in like so. And you can see that it fits beautifully with the sky. If there's anything here that we're not happy with, we can adjust that in a moment. But basically, we've done the split in two, and we're happy. We could leave it at that, but we want to make it a little bit more interesting and a bit more 3D. So what we're going to do is create a new layer above this layer, and then we're going to very carefully imagine what the other side of this would look like if it was in 3D. And then using the lasso tool, we're going to draw in the other half of our shape like so, making it all look jaggedy, trying to copy the same sort of jaggediness of our original one, like so. And then we're going to connect that back to the top by drawing it around here and getting to the very beginning. And now we've got a flashing line where the inside bit is going to go. Now we're going to use black and white for this. So we're going to click on the little colors box here. And you can see we've got black and white in our squares. Use the gradient tool again. Make sure we're on the blank layer. And then we're going to draw in a gradient and see which way it looks better. Does it look better with the white on the outside? It looks quite cool. Or the white on the inside? I think somewhere like that is what I'm looking for. And we'll just keep playing around with it till we're completely satisfied with how we've got it. It's too dark. And one more. Right. One more like that. that looks pretty cool. I might try it just a fraction further over. 
like that. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Now, we can add a, another new layer. And we're going to press Control-D to stop it flashing so we can see our effect that we've got there. We're going to use the lasso tool again. And carefully, on the new layer, we're going to draw in the other part of our cut into cut in half person. So we're going to draw around like so. Making sure we're very carefully following the edges as we want it to look. So it looks like we've ripped it in two, like so. Go all the way down there. And then all the way back up to the beginning. And once we have done that, we're going to move to our gradient tool again. And hopefully get it right first time. No. Right, like that, something like so, and we're going to press Control D. That's going to create our effect. Now, there is a person that has been split in two. We can obviously then look at doing some more refined edits. So we can go to Image Adjustment. We can look at our brightness and contrast of our image, and experiment with how much contrast we want to give it etc and you'll notice when I did that that the colors change slightly here and we can sort that out by going on this layer getting our eraser tool making sure it's got a fairly soft edge to it so in general soft edges make it a little bit bigger and we can blend in around the sky like so and we can also do that at the top of this one here so we don't have that sky effect where it's blended in. Okay, as you can see, we've almost finished our edit here, and we may even choose to do a crop, and then we will get it exactly where we want it for our edit. You can see I'm using the rule of thirds grid here, so I can line up the image so that I've got the pieces exactly where I want them. Once I'm happy with the crop, I press enter, it's cropped, and then We'll simply need to save it. Just check that I haven't done anything on that side. I think I'll go back to the crop tool one more time and just crop that edge in slightly as well. Press enter. And that is a much better image. So, I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video. If you have, obviously pop over to the channel, click on that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you'd like some more ideas for edits. Okay, thank you for watching and have a really good day making split in two people. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye.